Oh man, that's loud. Okay, Donk on Rumpa time. Donk on Rumpa. Wow, okay, I definitely need to adjust the volume because that was, it looked like it was picking up the sound from my headset. Oh. Uh, let's turn that, maybe like right here. Hey, thanks for the host. Oh, and thanks for the follow, Prince T-Bug, I appreciate you. Oh man, okay, I definitely need sound, sound effects. It's uh, probably fine right there. Let me know how the sound is, guys, because. Oh, that intro was super loud. Um, so hopefully that's. Audio looks okay on the mixer, but. Can't always tell. Okay. That good right there. And voice volume. Yeah, I turned my voice down a little bit because I noticed on the Yakuza videos when I was watching some of those again, it was like pretty loud. It was also parts where I was more excitable, throwing people in golf, so my bad for that. Thank you, yeah. Like, I had 51 for a second, and then I lost two followers for something. But now I'm back, so yeah, I just need to get my average up pretty close. Oh, crap, no. Turn that back down. Okay. Let's get started. You know, no, I'm going to turn the sound effects down a little bit more. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit easier. Turn up the game volume one. There we go. Yeah, let me uh, tab out real quick. I can turn up my mic a little bit. Okay. Hopefully that should be alright. Let me know if there's any other oddities or whatever with the sound. Otherwise we'll just keep going. Language, English. I hope this is just meaning subtitle? Not VA. Well, I guess we'll find out. Logic difficulty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did not expect this to be a thing. Uh, 
We'll just have it on average. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the follow up there, Grace Flow. Appreciate it. What is this? sense yeah I the only things I know about this game are that there's murders and I have seen that bear before those are the only things I know about this game I haven't seen the anime I haven't watched anyone do playthroughs I haven't seen any clips so this is you'll get to see my detective skills at work and let me tell you, they are top-notch. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, You'll be set for life. I wish I went to that school. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. Actually, maybe I don't, if murder's taking place there. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Yeah, I got the trilogy, so I'm gonna play through all of them. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. Huh. And standing at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. Is it the bear? Was me. Oh, who's this? Before we go any farther, I guess oh. I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Okay, now I'm wondering if the English or Japanese was for the vo the dialogue, because I feel like uh, this game might be new enough to have decent voice acting. But older games where it has an option tends to the English is usually pretty bad. But since anime stuff has become more mainstream it's gotten better okay cool I have no idea how old it is hopefully the voice acting is not bad as you can see I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student what an anime thing to say oh yeah that's not that old less than 10 years average on the outside average on the inside I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Just like your typical anime protagonist at the start, anyway. Except I don't even have different colored hair. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show... Oh my gosh. <laughs> It'll just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. 
I actually haven't watched Sword Art Online. I just know, like the kind of kind of like the premise of it. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Like I know it was super hyped up, but anyone who I've ever asked about it just goes, eh. I mean, watch it if you feel like, but there are better things to watch, which is generally what I've heard. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if you have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. Okay, Deku. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive at a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Wait, was this the kid that got sent up in the rocket? Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of these threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Oh, dude, his eyes! There's also the ultimate baseball star. Oh my god, that face. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, what? Oh, and they also mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, He's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you could... I'm guessing he's going there as the ultimate average student. The ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro. The ultimate programmer. The ultimate clairvoyant. And then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then... What about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging, I mean. I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. <laughs> we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us at the ultimate as the ultimate lucky student. Okay. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. 
but after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't just say no. Yeah, that's how I would feel too. Being set for life sounds pretty nice. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter, clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this! Iku! I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. Oh god, is he gonna die? I'm just expecting everyone to die as they get introduced. Is that the kind of game this is? Hi, my name is Makoto. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first new one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. Dude, you're really early then. Holy crap. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's a still a full 50 minutes left. Makes sense. Nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now. So there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into the Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Oh my god. What the- yeah. What the- is the correct response here? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized I was dead. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh. That's ominous. Welcome to Despair Prologue. Oh my god. Would you like to save? Yes. So many dots. Mm. Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the A button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons or L and R buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Okay, huh, this is interesting. Alright, well let's start off with this paper. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. An 
orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's some something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. That's what I just read. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? There's TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. I better look around the classroom a little bit before I head out. Well. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Well, dude, you were asleep, so... Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep those weirdos from just wandering in. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looked like some kind of metal plate had been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Bang, bang. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then, if that's true... That just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows? It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the B button. Well, let's keep looking around in case there's anything else. I don't think there was, though. I think that was everything. Yeah. Unless I can investigate this or the chalkboard. Nope. Leave the area. Yes. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head into the main hall. Use the left stick to move your way through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run. Also, you can press the Y button to bring up a map. That's good. I need that. Press the Y button again to close the map. How convenient! That is convenient, game. Thank you. Despair Hotel. Can I not, like, investigate this stuff out here? Oh. Despair Hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Alright, main hall. Oh, why? The school store. I guess it's not open. What is this? Oh, this must be the main hall. By the time I got back into the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Oh man, the hair on some of them. That brown hair in particular is, uh, kind of looks like a, if, um, the guy, that guy from Jet Set Radio evolved, that's what his hair would turn into. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. How is that guy all the way on the right a high school student? Like, look at that. Look at those muscles and the scar and all that stuff. Jeez. 
So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I could swear I feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Oof. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nagi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you two! Hmm... Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Listen to me! Makoto! Your tardiness was unacceptable! Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp! This guy's intense. To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report to you, and you must accept your due punishment! What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone, just calm down. Why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe. But it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. Oh man, I'm not gonna remember all these voices I'm giving people. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah, th th that's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm going to get. I already looked everywhere up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student. Press A to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Oh my god. My memory is going to fail me so hard. Let's just go from left to right. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. <laughs> okay, well, at least there's some voice acting. Ultimate moral compass. Oh my god. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. Public what? They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Oh my god. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! This guy's kind of annoying. Yeah. I would not get along with him. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I'm T -T Toko. Toko Fukawa. Okay, so maybe I should give her the Hinata voice. No. We'll see. If any of them sounds even the tiniest bit like Hinata, that's who gets the Hinata voice. Ultimate Writing Prodigy. 
Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and tal talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? Okay, maybe I will give her Hinata voice. That finger thing is totally Hinata. What? It, it, it's not polite to stare, you know? What oh! The heck? Okay, no, she doesn't get Hinata voice. STOP STARING AT ME LIKE I'M SOME FILTHY CREATURE! Filthy creature? No, I just thought... <laughs> I KNOW WHAT YOU JUST THOUGHT! You thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman? You just thought it was so funny? No, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. <gasps> I'm telling don't, you! Don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true! Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me! Anyway... Oh, whatever, I don't really care, I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Yeah, you don't get Hinata voice. Sayaka Maizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Ultimate pop sensation, okay. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that online thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's done a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey? By any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Uh, sorry, just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... Y you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. This guy, Leon Kuwata. I like his beard and his hair. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Ultimate baseball star. Aha! I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. He definitely looks cooler with the longer hair and the beard. And that superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Give me a break. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you look then. <laughs> 
What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture! What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously? I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, I can be. Can I be totally honest with you? You know. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he was still the, his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max! I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. And this guy, Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Yeah, my voice for him was pretty... Pretty decent, I feel like. He totally looks like a gerbil. Ultimate fanfic creator, oh my god! Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> <laughs> well, in that world, I am known and some... I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However,. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I am sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about... Embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Dude, I already know what you're talking about, okay? Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Man, this is gonna take me a while. Alright. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Ultimate swimming bro. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been <laughs> widely discussed online. Hmm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. Yeah, I'll I'll make a decision once I meet everyone. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Nagi. Makoto Nagi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm. Like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Hmm. Um... <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. 
Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Shihiro Fujisaki. Hello, Are you... nice to meet you. I'm <laughs> Shihiro Fujisaki. Okay, you might be the Hinata voice, but your actual voice doesn't sound like Hinata at all. Ultimate programmer. Mm. Sorry, I, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I, I hope we can get along. And I can't do a lot of girl voices. I can barely do a girl voice. <clears throat> Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh. sorry. Yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um... Hey, so, listen... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um... Well, well just because you seem upset. You, you must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I am starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Kyoko Kirigiri. Uh, can I ask your name? My name is... Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark. What? She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is kind of like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Junko Inoshima. Hi! I'm Junko Inoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, she's... A psycho. I can feel it. Ultimate Fashionista. Oh god, that smile. That's scary. Anybody would recognize this one. No, she looks... way less scary in these pictures. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the Ultimate Fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. It doesn't. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> uh, well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back. With, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. 
You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! That's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're so surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk look super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Mondo Owada. That hair, though. Name's Mondo Owada. Nice to fucking meet ya. I imagine this is Drake from your D&D campaign. Name's Drake. Nice to fucking meet ya. Ultimate Biker Gang Leader. Mondo Owada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. I don't understand how some of these are criteria for getting into a school. Um... Nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. His hair totally looks like corn. I'd uh, better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Those four over there are the only ones left. Celeste. Suck. Wait. This is a girl? I am apparently sexist for assuming gender, so I apologize. I am Sakura Ogami. Ultimate martial artist. Oh, jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. Dude, same. See, okay, at least I'm not the only one. Makoto, I'm in the same boat as you. We need sensitivity training, apparently. Assuming genders. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the feigned missing link. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you... I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. Ultimate Affluent Progeny. Wait, does this just mean Ultimate Rich Kid? Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Byakuya Togami. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy thread online. Come on! We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away! I'm sick of looking at you! 
as RSSME, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. What's well, this guy? Or is this a girl too? I just won't. I just have to not assume things anymore. Just wait for the introductions. Yasuhiro Hagakure. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate Clairvoyant. Oh my. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend setting Ultimate Clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. So I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah. <sighs> okay, I give up. Well, what happened? For serious. I saw. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Say what? Oh, saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into the Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see, and... Well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ultimate Gambler. Celestia Luden... Uh-huh. <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name. But, if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in the thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of the gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. <laughs> okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff just happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got in the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we're somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. That's... That every one of us would get knocked out like that? Okay, not sure about Waifu yet, but Husbando? Totally this guy right here. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing! You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates! What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here! 
The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something? Oh, her nails. Is it like... What? <laughs> what? Like a uh, kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't talk like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's time for that face. Oh my god. Oh, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Ding dong, bing bong. Uh oh. Is somebody gonna die? Ahem, <clears throat> testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all Coming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Oh. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, what? You're just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh, yeah, no, I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped up for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait, wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway. Not, not that anyone cares, but I'm going to go too. Okay, well, my favorite female hair is definitely Celeste. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. I also like her hair, too. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. Actually, that might be my favorite female hair right there. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Do you want to save? Yes. Well, are these all the people that stayed behind? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight of us here. Well, let's talk to everyone, I guess. This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. Dude, shit! What the hell kind of game are they playing? <laughs> what? What the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? 
Some something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Huh. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. You okay? Is everyone okay? Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, no. Let me see if I can investigate any of the stuff. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But there's no way that's a real gun. Right? Right? Guys, come on. Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then, though. I wonder if this is the same thing. Yeah. The trophies can't examine those. There's a TV. School is fun. Oh, that's going to say the same thing. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Yeah. Okay. Leave the area. Yep. Okay, the gym is... This one. Hey, come on! God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different the t from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse! Uh, um... Uh -huh. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? <gasps> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Duh, shit. Well, hell. It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, then. I, too, shall go. <laughs> Don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for some more tutorial action! You can press the Y button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Okay. Interesting. That's cool. A display case, there are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. So, only that, the door. Another surveillance camera, I feel like we're being watched every second. I don't like it. This goes a lot of TVs. It couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Um... Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? This is I'm bad. Totally getting a bad vibe right now. There we go. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And then I burned my dread. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See, told ya, it's totally normal entrance ceremony and stuff. Hero was right. But in a, a way, 
that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh my gosh. Oh, cutscene. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! I'm just waiting for it to also have a super deep, like, scary voice. Like, half of it's friendly, half of it's scary type thing. And I... I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was... Utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! I'm glad he's voiced, because I would have... Not been able to do that. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd be carrying around with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? The teddy bear can talk? Ca calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside him. Hey, come on now. Oh, okay. I told you already I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. I am your headmaster. Say what? Ah, it moved! Dude, shit. Seriously, man? Calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. <laughs> How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, uh, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that, really? You are unfortunate. Oh my God, is he Teddy? Hmm. Bear soda. He actually kind of sounds like Teddy a little bit. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, uh, okay, so... <sighs> he has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone, stand at attention now and bow. And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! Your problem. You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, ah, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. That's not ominous. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life... Too bad! There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. Woo! Set for life. I guess this is what it means. Now oh, I'm glad I didn't go there. Not that I could have. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but if you're not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't be for lack of the, all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. 
I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about the dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off. So all those metal plates all over the school... They're there to keep us trapped in here? Phew. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on. What the hell is this? I don't care if this school or whatever, whoever is behind all this. This is just a really bad joke. D damn you. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying all this is a lie or a joke, a bunch of skeptics, all of you! What are you gonna but do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, um... but you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As Headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave, I call it the Graduation Clause. Now then! Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the Graduation Clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know. Oh, this is where the murder comes in. If one person were to murder another, murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I get. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? If we know what it means, that's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Gee, what? Yeah, stop blathering on with this nonsense! Just let us go home already! Blabbering? 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 What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! That's scary. How strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over! Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world! Got it? And you can kill as much as you wanna kill! So go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree! <sighs> Alright, come on. How long are you gonna keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? 
I'm right, right? Yeah, cuz I mean, you know, this is some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... <laughs> Shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hiro aside, Bondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? A joke? What? You mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! Ah! Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He'd locked onto his target. <laughs> gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? <laughs> Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Oh. Uh, is he gonna be the first one to die? Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time. Oh dude, he's he's dead. Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out, get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. The hell? What the? the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, but, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Huh? Oh, there's another one! Oh, that face. This guy. He's definitely got the best faces. Damn you! I mean, all the expressions are pretty good. You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now? Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time. But you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does that mean there's like a bunch more of you around here somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all saw what just happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! This is our official school handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it... The E-Handbook! Hmm. Ahem, yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to the Space Age design, you can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys? You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. As if laws mean anything. I mean, Monokuma, have you seen the world today? Ugh. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here. 
which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? Uh, how? What? I don't understand any of this. Hmm? You have yeah. to live here forever? Or kill? Ah! What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But... But killing someone? That's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All this ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. Hm. Right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all started staring at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, it's not a school of hope. It's an afternoon of darkness. I mean, it's a school of despair. Prologue, welcome to despair. The end. Ooh, surviving students 15, oh my gosh. To be continued. Okay. I think that's where I'll call it a night. And... Oh, okay. Something's happening here. Oh, is this just going to play this again? Okay. We don't need to watch that. You received the school crest present. Save. Yes. Okay. So that's the end of the prologue. And yeah, this is a good spot to stop. So, next time, which is going to be tomorrow, or later today, whatever, depending on the time zone, um, we'll be continuing this. Oh man, it's uh, definitely intriguing, to be sure. Um, but yeah, we'll continue this tomorrow afternoon so thanks for joining thanks bear grace and prince t for the follows i really appreciate it and thanks raylan for joining and hosting appreciate it um but yeah we'll continue this next time find out what happens at this school i guess so until then take care everyone and we'll see you later